Hi hey everyone, so another short video. Uh, I actually uploaded three videos uh, last week. What is DevOps, what is uh, DevSecOps, and what is GitOps? And few questions were around like, um, which one is better among them? So let's discuss that uh, topic today. Uh, so it, it may be in your interviews or in your discussions, you might find this kind of uh, question coming. But before we do that, uh, just subscribe to the channel. I upload a lot of content around this. Uh, don't take a lot of time editing or adding, you know, video startup and ending part to it. So just the raw, uh, what I feel, what I hear from you guys in the comment section. And if you have any question, just, just post it there. If you like some previously uh, posted uh, question, just like it so that it shows up and I can take up in the subsequent uh, video. So what is the difference between these three? Or maybe there could be some other uh, flavor of uh, DevOps that people are naming it. The main difference is uh, not in the features that they offer. The main difference lies in the maturity of the, uh, the organization. So uh, what is good for one company may not be the you know uh, best option for the other companies as well. So so the uh, the choice as to what should an organization uh, adopt will depend upon their requirements, the kind of culture they have, and what are their goals uh, in in the organization, where they stand right now, and where they want to be. Basically, their uh, uh, as is and their to be state where they want to be. That that is the main difference. So uh, DevOps and there is there is a bit of overlap as well. It's not that they are mutually exclusive uh, altogether. Behind all these things, the automation is the uh, main driver for these things. So one analogy that uh, you can give in your interview or in, in your uh, discussions is that you don't learn uh, driving a, a car or something when you are 12 years of uh, old. So when you are 12 years old, you start with a bicycle or something or maybe early. Uh, so that's that's appropriate for you. Once you get the right maturity uh, and maybe the money, that's that's when you uh, look for driving maybe a bike or something. And then once your maturity, your age uh, matures, um, you have good control over um, a two wheeler. You start looking at uh, you know exploring that maybe it's time to learn driving a car as well, and maybe something else in future. So. That is the difference between them. So DevOps, maybe you start building your company's capabilities in the application uh, build and package kind of thing. Uh, then you take it to next level, deploying it. How frequently you deploy it also uh, very company specific. Some companies tend to deploy multiple times a day, whereas some companies will take two months, two weeks, depending upon them. So it's, it's a choice of the company, how they want to proceed what their culture is, what their customers are asking for. And based on that, you decide all these uh, kind of strategies. Once you mature, you start to think that um, security is one aspect you should uh, target on. Then you add security capabilities into your DevOps uh, pipeline that matures you to DevSecOps uh, process. Once you start believing that your infrastructure has to be fully automated, you start building your infrastructure pipelines. Once you have further matured, you start thinking that all your day two operations, um, all uh, or maybe small patches to servers or any um, any application um, toggle switch that you have uh, to enable disable, you will do all everything through Git repository driven by your source code and um, in the uh, in the production to taken to the production environment through automated testing, getting the feedback from the testing of the uh, pipelines. That's when you uh, look at GitOps. So, so this is what I wanted to highlight uh, that it's not something which is good for one company may not be the right approach for the other company. And there is not nothing like which is best or which is good. It is upon the maturity of the customer, what their customers are requesting further, how frequently they deploy and what is their maturity and what, what's their uh, target uh, state where they want to see their company. So based on that you decide the right tools, technologies, and the uh, DevOps flavor that uh, you want to implement. So 
that's all for today. Uh, I will keep coming up with uh, such videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed to the channel. Thanks.